Hello everyone, here's a question on circles. The question is, the perimeter of a circle is 176 cm, find its radius. So what is given? We have given perimeter of circle. Perimeter means circumference. Circumference of circle is given 176 cm. We have to find out the radius. So how to do this? We're going to use the circumference of circle formula. Remember perimeter and circumference both are same. Th that is nothing but the measurement of the boundary. So let us write on what is given. So given perimeter of circle is equal to 176 centimeter. Now perimeter is same as circumference. So in place of perimeter, I'm going to put C here. C represents circumference. So C is equal to 176. But we know that perimeter of circle is 2 pi r. So here you can directly write down C and you can do it or else if it's confusing write down the formula directly. Perimeter of circle the formula is 2 pi r right. So 2 pi r is equal to 176. I'm not writing units right now. I'm not writing centimeter. I'm going to write down at the end. Now I'm going to substitute the values here. 2 into pi value I'm going to take it as 22 by 7 because the numbers will get cancelled. And the r we don't know. I'm going to put r itself and this is equal to 176. Now I want only the R value. I don't want this 2, 22 and 7 on the left side. I'm going to transpose everything to the right side. So I'm going to do everything in a one step. So how to do this? If you see here, this 7 is in denominator, right? It's in division. So when you transpose a number from a division to the other side of the equation, it will get multiplied. So here the 7 will get multiplied with 176. So let me write down that. So this is equal to 176 multiplied by 7. So I have transposed 7 to the other side. Now here we have 2 and 22 both are in multiplication with r. So when you transpose a number from multiplication to the other side it gets divided. So the both numbers will come in the division here. So they want to come in the denominator. So this will be divided by 2 multiplied by 22. And here we are left with only r. We have transposed all the numbers. So r is equal to this whole thing. Now we are going to cancel the numbers. You can cancel the numbers in a 2 table here. I'm going to cancel 2 and 176. 2 ones are. So 2 eights are 16. 1 is left. I'm going to write down along with 6. So that makes the number 16. Again 2 eights are 16. Now, if you don't know how to cancel the numbers and if you have your own way of cancelling numbers, proceed with that. If you don't know, then divide the number separately and do it. Now we have 22 and 88. We can directly cancel this in 22 table. Or you can cancel this in 11 table. Whichever is easy for you, go for that. I'm going to cancel directly this in 22 table. 22 fours are is 88. I'm going to cancel in that. So 22 ones are 22 fours are 88. Now in the numerator, we have 4 and 7. Right? In the denominator, we have 1 and 1. So 1 ones are is 1. In the numerator, we have to multiply 4 sevens are 28. So this is equal to 28. And in the denominator, like I said before, we have 1. So if you don't write 1 in the denominator, it's okay. It will not going to change the value of the number. So you can write down 28. And therefore, R is equal to write down along with the unit. So 28 centimeter. So we have got the radius. I hope this question is clear. This type of question can come for 2 mark. And uh, in case you have any question or doubt, you can drop a comment. Thank you so much for watching.